G'day folks, Luke Fitzpatrick here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today I just want to grab a moment of your time to talk about one of the important lessons that I relearnt over the weekend. You'd think by now I would have learnt this lesson well and truly. I've written a number of articles that have been published by Fish and Boat magazine and there's also a couple up on our blog site which you can get to at fishingboatingexploring.com.au all about getting the balance right with your fishing outfit. Now I'm talking the rod, the reel, the line, the knots, everything. When you have the balance right, it is like a finely tuned machine. It should work really, really well. And the weakest point should be the knot from your leader to your braid or your leader to your mono. If anything is gonna break, it should be that. However, that doesn't explain how I broke my Atomic Arrow 6 to 12 pound rod over the weekend. I'm going to tell you why, because it was all my fault. It was not a fault of the rod. It was all about high sticking the rod when I shouldn't have. Now I was fishing the flats along Fraser Island targeting Flathead. I have some new lures from Atomic that they sent me, which I'm going to talk about in another video in a few weeks time. And I was casting them around in the shallows and I noticed off in the distance there was a large dark shadow moving in the distance so i threw one of the lures over there cast one of the lures over there in the hope of a hookup and i hooked up and i soon came to regret doing that now it was a threadfin salmon anybody who's fished for threadfin salmon know they have some really powerful runs at the very very start this fish was somewhere around the meter mark and quite heavy six to 12 pounds just was not going to cut it especially when he dragged me out into deeper water and i had to try and lift him up to the side of the boat all was going well the system was working really really well the drag setting was perfect managed to fight the fish and get him boat side however i was by myself i couldn't even turn the camera on so i can't actually show you what happened but while trying to get the fish into the net and anybody who's fished with me will know how poor my netting skills are. I was trying to lift the fish up using the rod. You can already tell what I'm doing wrong. While at the same time with the net in this hand, I was trying to scoop the fish. And as I'm leaning down trying to get to the fish, I'm pulling this higher like this, way up there. And before I knew it, the tip that should be seven foot up there was down here. Okay, the rod was completely overloaded. I was trying to get this big fish into the net. He wasn't coming up because he was too heavy and something had to give. I'm very surprised that my double uni knot between the leader and the braid didn't pop first. But what did pop was my poor old rod. Okay, so high sticking. It's not good, folks. Rookie, rookie error. And this is the result of it. The entire system failed because I did the wrong thing. So please try not to lift that rod tip too high when you're fighting a fish. You would get to about 45. You probably don't want to go much higher than that unless the rod is specifically designed for it, okay? Very light stick, big fish. I should have just played him out more and more until I got him up in the water column. Um, he would have been exhausted and I would have had to have taken him home for dinner. Um, but I was rushing a little bit. I was excited. I got distracted. And I made a really, really rookie mistake and snapped a perfectly good rod. So high sticking. Don't do it, folks, because this is the expensive result. All right. Top section's fine and it snapped just below the join. All right, so there's a little tip for you. Um, have a laugh. I certainly had a laugh after cursing for about 10 minutes um, when I realized what I'd done wrong. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Luckily, I know a good tackle store that I can go and visit and get myself a new Atomic Arrows fishing rod. All the best, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please be kind and don't high stick your rod when you're fishing. All the best.